Hi everyone, Boomstick here from the Green Diamonds back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Tech Rules 1896 Grand Prix and uh, I'll be showing you how to get the perfect run. There are seven perfect runs you need to do and I'm just having a look here at my pod. Believe it or not, I actually didn't do the last third race <clears throat> because I miscalculated the timing and uh, came back to it late. <laughs> anyway, um, it didn't matter I qualified, so that's really good, but you obviously need to do these perfect runs. Now, some of you may have noticed there's also a 360 uh, requirement for six 360s. That's really easy. Just start the race, do, three, do your six 360s at the start and then finish um, and you'll get that one. But with this, we're gonna have touch drive enabled and we're not going to touch the controller. Okay, so you can just let the touch drive do its thing and you will get the seven perfect. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this event and discussing strategies for it. Um, people worried that they're going to be in a pod with some really good players and miss out on a key. Obviously that's the major concern for most people in this event. Um, and uh, those of you who are going to invest tokens are going to want to know what the best strategy is. Well, I think um, based on the way the qualifiers work, um, as long as you have put in not a too good time in the practice round, like you didn't get below, say, 115, then you're probably going to be grouped with people that are less likely to be um, good skill. Now, that doesn't mean that they aren't sandbagging, um, but most of the sandbaggers I've seen have been shooting around the 19 mark. So I think the safe zone, if there is one, it will be between 15 seconds and 18 seconds. I think that's the safest area you can aim for, um, but you've probably already done your practice runs now, so this may be a moot point. Anyway, we can see there we're getting lots of perfect runs here. We'll probably get another as we go through this s band. Um, there's, you know, this, this course is very interesting, but it's, it's pretty much done and dusted now. Um, moving on to the uh, final rounds, uh, th there's going to be five tracks, and um, I will take you through those five tracks um, in another video. I'm going to do a separate series on that. Okay, so let's see if we got it. And bang. So I've done it three times, I just used my three fuels on it and I get the five <coughs> blueprints for completing the, the, uh, all the conditions. <coughs> so what that means is I can now go to the shop and um, I can uh, buy those relay packs. So let's do that now. All right, moving over here and relay packs. Okay, so we'll get the first one for 750. Now that's, you know, maybe not great value, but we're, we're gonna be getting all three. Okay. All right. So the next pack will take me over to two star and then I'll take you through the upgrade and um, We'll just see how much it's going to cost me. So I did get a bit of cash there. So I'm at 5.2 million. And uh, yes, we will be starring this up. Um, I don't know if I'll take it much further. I'm just going to see, I might even just do one of the races and just, or wait in the races to see whether people have got the ranks in my pod. Um, I think you should probably do that too. Don't invest unless you feel confident in your pod. So, um, let's do, oh, that's right, you can't upgrade from here, you actually have to go into the event. So, I'll just back out. All right. Into the event. All right. And so, we've got two days and ten hours to go. I'm pretty much twiddling our thumbs in that time, but we are going to do practice runs of the tracks that are coming up. I'll be doing a video on that, going through those tracks one by one. All right, so yeah, started with 5.2 uh, mil. We'll see where I end up. That way you'll know how much to go through to the next stage. The two stars, so upgrading, and you can see we're getting epic import parts 
availability now. But this car is going to be a little bit quicker in the next round. Um, and as you can see, money is a concern if you are low on cash. It might not matter that you have tokens if you can't upgrade it. If you spend all your money on the Chiron and the Regera and the Terzo, you're going to be in a similar situation to me where you're forced to grind out worlds and get more money fast <laughs> doing the daily cash runs. Um, so, okay, so we're almost done here and we can see now we're at 3506. And yeah, so that cost me about about 2.1 million um, to do that. So just take that into consideration and um, I hope this has helped you out and uh, I'll catch you around with new videos soon, people. All right, take care.